Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is the servant of Jesus Christ. R.L. Dunlap Jr., we greet you from God the Father and from His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God and is alive and is now set on the right hand of the Father according to the Scripture. Let's go directly to work in the Word of God. Lately, we've been seeing a, a lot of preachers dying. And they haven't just started. But well no. Preachers been dying. Everybody gonna die. I, I don't I don't read nothing into that. Some some somebody told me one time they had a dream it was a lot of preachers dying. Well everybody gonna die, you gonna die too. Yeah, that's not <laughs> Nevertheless, a lot of preachers we know died. Shock! I mean, shocks. They weren't sick. Got killed in car racing, car accidents. And some committed suicide. Some OD on drugs. Some got killed with their girlfriend in the hotel room. Committed adultery. Some died in the pulpit. Preachers died. A lot of them going a lot of them going to be cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. A lot of the preachers that you know that we know that died, they're going to be cast in the lake of fire and brimstone. I know. Well, you can't judge that. I know I can't, but Jesus can, is, is already prophesied. Oh my God, it's already prophesied. These preachers, a lot of these preachers going to hell. It's already prophesied, already been prophesied. I won't test alone you. Mm. I won't know but go test alone. We want to give you good understanding. No, I'm not God, but we're gonna, but we're gonna tell you what God said. Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians Chapter Number Two Verse Number Eleven. Where we better begin with verse number nine. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and line wonders. Even with all deceitful, deceit, deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Them that perish. Because they receive not the love of the truth. The preacher preached the truth to you. Preached the gospel to you. And you did receive it. You rejected it. You did receive Jesus Christ as the son of God. You said no son of God. You didn't receive Christ in the law. You say the law still is this. You still got to pay tithes and offer. That God required. You didn't receive be public. You said ain't nobody public. You didn't receive uh, 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 repent of your sin. You say ain't nobody without sin. You say we see it every day. 
you did receive the truth. You say nobody got no hair in hell put you in. You, you said can't nobody, you said don't judge nobody. You did receive the truth. Here we're gonna have you preachers. And some already gone on. This this is some of they in. Verse 10, and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this call, God shall send them strong delusion that they shall believe a lie that they might all might be damned. Who believed not the truth, but had pledged in unrighteousness. You had pledged so much pledge in unrighteousness till you said it ain't nobody perfect. You had so much pledge in unrighteousness till you said it ain't nobody without sin. You had so much pledge in unrighteousness until you say God still required tithes and offering. You had so much pledge in unrighteousness till you say you still got to keep the law. You had so much pleasure in unrighteousness until you lied on God's law and said God said bring 10% of your money. You lied on God's law. Even in the Old Testament, you lied on God's law. You had so much pleasure in unrighteousness until you said so, God said so see for your miracle. You had someone playing in unrighteousness until you brought false prophets in among us. You had someone playing in unrighteousness. You refused to preach repentance. You had someone playing in unrighteousness. You say Ain't nobody got no hair in hell to put you in. You had someone playing in unrighteousness. God sent you a strong delusion that you believe that lie. You did receive the love of the truth. The love of the truth. E feed the four. It's a speaking the truth in love. Till we all come to you. Till we all come to you, you know the other thing. That we be no more children tossed to and fro with every tossed to and fro with every wind and darker. There's only one truth, and that through Jesus. You had pledge in unrighteousness. Some of these preachers that did, they they go they going to hell. R.D. Hinton, Bishop Richard Hinton, hopefully he repented for selling, for selling prayer blankets before he died. Hopefully he did. Apostolic faith, Bonner and Johnson and Goodwin and you that still took, you and the one that still lived. Hopefully before you die, you repent for telling that lie. That Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. First John 4 said, You are Antichrist. You have respect to person? My God. In hell, you're going to live in your eye. You better repent for it's too late. You better repent. Bishop Todd Blake and others that bring false prophecy in among us. And hold a false prophet in high regard. If you don't repent before you die, you're going to hell. They go for Todd Blake, David Hall, your pastor, my pastor, your bishop. Christ the end of the law, but said we still gotta keep the law of tithes and offering. You better repent. You're going to hell. 
You're going to die. You're going to hell. If you don't repent, all these preachers don't die. You, oh, I just can't. Oh, I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. But what if they didn't repent when they sin? Been preaching lies. What if they didn't repent? What if Billy Graham didn't repent? Yeah, yeah, you know, he was all problem. What if my Monroe didn't repent? For the kingdom keys. What if A.A. Adams didn't repent? Shambaugh. All Robbins, all these line wonders. Paul and Jan Crouch. What if they didn't repent? For preaching, for a preaching lie, preaching false doctrine, preaching false doctrine. What if they did not repent? They going to the lake of fire and brimstone. All these preachers died. Some of them going to hell. If they did not repent. I don't care who you are. Jesus don't care who you are. God is a no respect of person. Uh, 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 Hebrew 10 26. If we said will for the land. What if you don't repent? Jesus sent letters to the church and telling them I have something against you. Be saved and repent or else. You know what Jesus have against? Sin. One, you say you, you, you got that woman Jezebel up Deceived before. One say you got the those that hold the doctrine of Baal, which is false prophet. You don't have to do it like the Bible says. Yes, all these preachers died. My God, some of them going to hell if they didn't. If they didn't repent, they going to hell. You watching me, if Blake, Bishop Blake, if he don't repent, he going to hell when he die. If he don't repent for bringing them false prophets among us, David Adam Hall and everybody else that do it, Polar, Sheard, everybody else, telling lies about tithes and offering. You're going to hell if you die in that state still telling lies. Not living a life. All these preachers died, yes, and some of them going to hell. You that still living, you better straighten up. You're going to die one day. You may not have time to repent. You don't like to be snuffed out like that. You can be killed instantly. Do you love you love the city? You them, you bishops and thing in, in, in every church. You bring a false prophet among us. You on your way to hell. You disobeying the word of God. You're not preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Writing it without the deeds of the law. You say we still got to keep the deeds of the law. You going to hell. Galatians 5 said Christ had become. I mean, yeah. Galatians 5 says, Christ has become of no effect unto you, whosoever you are, justified by the law. You have fallen from grace. You going to hell. The Sabbath day.
registration fee to hear the gospel, you got to pay a registration fee. You going to hell, man, woman, bishop. You on your way to hell. You better straighten up. Sow a seed for your miracle. You liar. You on your way to hell? You ain't living the life. You on your way to hell. Timothy 2.19 the foundation of God standing sure, having this seal. Let everyone that name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Stop your sin. You know what you're doing. Stop it. Turn from it. All these preachers dying, and it's a shout to us of a, a lot of them going to hell. When Bush, he died a few years ago. If he didn't repent, he'd go to hell for sure. They all playing all kind of money game. And the bishop that, that brought that big fat church of God Christ for all problems among us. You going too, Bishop. You better repent for it too late. I'm warning you. God is warning you through me. I'm telling you Jesus' word, not my word. Let's leave you right there. Let's leave you right there. Jesus is coming back again. Jesus is coming back again. You better repent. You fall short every day. What's the matter with you? Why you fall short? Galatians 5 say, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So why are you falling in flesh every day? Because you're not walking in the spirit. I'll leave it there. Repent before that will last too late. Repent now. Thank you for very much.